Hi guys, so this video may take a little longer than my normal ones, but it's because it's a jeans video. Like, nothing jeans can be easy to do, you get me? Okay, so we're going to start off with the pants that fit. We are going to trace it out. And we're not going to trace out the waistband, but we're going to trace from right under the waistband all the way down to the bottom and also mark where the knees are. Okay, at this point, you can just skip what I'm doing here. My pants, did, of course, did not fit me. So I'm bringing it out by the hips where it was too tight. And then from the hip point, I'm going straight down. I'm not doing a diagonal down. I'm going like legit straight down. At the crotch, I'm going straight down too. But here you're going to see that I'm doing it diagonally, which is round. Well, round for what I want to do. I want it wide. So you're going to see when I go to the front of the pants, I actually do the line legit straight down which it will be perpendicular to the hem of the pants. Here, I don't want it all up in my crutch, so I go down half inch at the crutch and just reshape that line. This is the front of the pants now. I'm doing the same thing that I'm doing that I did at the back, but you're gonna see, see how I'm bringing out the bottom? Like little, yeah, and then I'm going straight up to where the widest part of the pants is, the hip part right there again. Remember, everything you do for the back, you do for the front, so I'm bringing down the crutch half of an inch and just smoothing that into the original crutch line. Now here you're going to see how straight I actually drew the original um, line. Okay, I did that really quickly, but I did it straight down, okay? Oh gosh. So now I'm adding notches by the back yoke and the pants. And you add those notches because right here you're going to cut it and separate it. So you need to know um, how to line them up when you're actually sewing the pants together. And I'm just sticking the extra paper there and taping it onto the original pattern because this is the seam allowance that we're gonna add back to the top. We're gonna do this process again to the bottom of the back yoke so we have enough um, paper for seam allowance. So you see me just there, taping it on and then adding seam allowance. And I think I did like five eighths yeah, five eighths there and five eighths at the top of the pant, and um, yeah, okay, and three eighths all around the um the side and the top part. So this is some pants, some random pants. I don't know. Okay, so you see how we have this part here. So we measure all around here. And then we add our seam allowance that would have been stuck up under here. And then we add our seam allowance that would have been in here. So I think I did like three A's or a quarter there. And I think I did a three A's at the top part here. Right? So you measure that. And remember, it's folded here. So it's when it's like opened up, it's going to look like how I showed you all how the pattern looks on the paper. In here, you're gonna see that it has like this little curvy part, like here. And I may have done mine wrong, but it came out okay, right? So this little curvy part here. So I think, what did I do? Oh, this doesn't even look like how my pants are supposed to look. Don't look at that. I was playing the makeup. Yeah. Okay. Um. I don't know. You know. I don't know. This extra piece here is. So that part, as you can see, it has like a curve. So that's what the little curve part on my part is going to be based off of. So you just measure what yours is from the pants you're copying it from. So this one is tiny, but I didn't mean big, but you can do your small because you don't need as much um, flat as I had on mine. I think mine was way too big, but yeah. Okay, bye. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to get this piece that we cut out from the front. Okay, so what I'm doing here now, y'all didn't really need to do. You see what I have it now? That's how it should have been with no seam allowance on the left side and then no seam allowance here. Like I'm putting, you didn't need to do all that because I did mine, like I did, I added seam allowance to the pants and then I added seam allowance to that side there. You see me unfolding and it's going to make that flap super long. I mean, you didn't need to do all that, okay? But yeah, that's what I did. So you can do it if you want.
Alright, and you don't need to see my allowance on this outside part here that I'm filling in. Um, you're just going to overlock that edge. Alright, so now I'm just adding some allowance to the back yoke and I guess the rest of the pants. Alright guys, so this is how it should look. That's the front and the reason we're doing the front of this is because we're doing a mock fly um, zipper. That's the front, that's the back. Um, the jeans, back yoke, the fly thingy at the front, I guess the fly extension, the baseband. And your base is going to be however, however high you want it. Um, this one here is one and five eighths, like from here to here. And then you also have to add your seam allowance at the top and the bottom. Okay, and it should always be. So this is why I did my, um, I didn't do my waist at the very beginning. I just did a really long strip, um, one and five eighths and just like a really long one, probably like three inches past my actual waist length. Because if you do it, if you do it your actual waist length, then it doesn't counter in the extra piece here that you have for the buttons, right? So you have to, you have to add a little extra piece there. So that's why I, I um cut my waist part out after you did, after you did the entire pants and belt tabs and the back pocket. I'm not doing any front pockets on it. But um, yeah, this is how it should pretty much look. I did the bottom about, I think, 24 inches so it can cover my um, entire shoe. And that's that. I pretty much just brought it down straight. As you can see, a slight diagonal, but still pretty much straight. And this is how it should look. Okay, so y'all may see that the crutch has a little bit of curve. I think I curved it in a little bit and then I went straight down. I don't know. Okay. So here I am showing you the thing that we cut in the beginning. You only need to cut one. I don't know why I cut two, but you only need to cut one. And that's the zipper. This is the flight. Let's just call it the flight zip. The zip flight extension, I guess. I don't know what it's supposed to be called, whatever. So I turned it inside out and I folded it and then I stitched the bottom there. And now I'm going to cut it really close to the corner, like right there. And then I'm going to turn it inside out so the right side is on the outside. And then I'm just going to overlock that long edge that's hanging. Alright. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay guys, I overlocked the front of all this part here you see with the raw edges. I overlocked that. But then um, here we're going to place the right sides together and then right at that, that little corner there where the, the curved part meets the other curved part, I, right here, yes, that's where I stitched, just right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is it stitch and it overlocked the edges because I think that's how they look inside um, your jeans pants, that's what I saw. So we stitched the crutch seam and we're going to snip. We're gonna snip right here under it, going straight across like this. See? Press this and this open along the center front line. So we're gonna press, oops, we're gonna press this open. And you should press it. I'm not pressing it because I don't want to. I actually have put a notch here on the center front line. So this is where the center front is. This is where the front is on this one. And that doesn't look too right, but whatever. So now we're going to press that and that. Remember, this should be pressed. So that's the only reason I'm putting pins here. Because I didn't press me. Okay. So we did that. And remember, this is supposed to be pressed. Now we're going to get this zipper. And I don't think this is the one that I want to use. We're going to slide this out. 
about an eighth to a quarter of an inch. Just pull this one back a little bit. Then I'm going to slay this out. Like that. So this is our original lay for here. Just it out. stitch as close to the edge as you can. So we're going to stitch, top stitch is going all the way up. So now we're going to get the other side and we're going to place it over the stitch line because that's actually where the center front would be and that's how it would look close. So I just place it over and then I think, yes, yeah, I'm going to pin Apache, do not start working. I'm going to pin that, the right piece, over the left piece. So I'm literally just taking all the pins from it and just pinning it actually onto this piece here, as you can see. So onto that fabric there, all right? Okay, so when that's done, when you pull out the little crutch part there, like I'm doing right now, everything should lay nice and flat and smooth because that's how it's going to be when it's on you. So what I'm doing now is I'm turning over the jeans and I'm flipping that pant leg under to this leg to be on the other side because we just want this curved part here and the zipper stitched together. So I'm just stitching that and that together, okay? Nothing under it, just that curved part and the zipper. We're not doing the garment, we're just doing this part. Alright? Okay, and here is it stitched. It looks quite shoddy, don't worry about that. Um, when I flip it over, you're going to see that it's not on the outside of the pants. You can't see that. So yeah. Probably should have used a smaller zipper head, but okay. Oh no, for that same. I'll use the same one that we had just now for the bell bottom pants because it's smaller and flatter. That one is too big and we have to take off the zipper head off of that. It's so big. Oh, I ain't doing this right now. All right, so now we're gonna go one and a quarter out from that center front line and then we're gonna do like a little curve towards the bottom when we get to like that crutch part. So like, yeah, right there where that line meets the other line we're just going to do a little curve and then we're going to top stitch along that line and then we're going to do another line probably like a quarter or an eighth away from it i think i did a quarter that looks like a quarter or three eighths away from it yeah so i should probably done this beforehand i don't know how i would do it but um pretty much I'm going to try and edge stitch this. Maybe I can get it done and then when I get here. So I'm going to do this part first and then stop here and then I'm going to take it out and then do this part coming down like that. And then when I get here I'm going to do a double stitch. Yeah? You see how that works? Okay. So I'm gonna stitch, I stitch from here to here. And then I'm gonna take it out and then I'm gonna continue. Then I'm gonna open up the sewing machine and then stitch from there going down. And then another double stitch. Okay? Okay, so I sort of got it done, but sort of didn't. Hmm. Oh crap, I just messed up again. Okay. Mm. Alright, so I sort of got it done, but I messed up here. So I guess I'll do it over later, but I'm not doing that right now. Yeah. Okay, so what do we do now? Um, 
I guess you can put this in here, like here, and just like pretend that we did that for a reason. Yeah. Okay, so what we can do is we can just follow this stitch here. And we can just bring it down. Nikia, okay, Nikia, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, yeah. This should have probably been done before I did this part. Right? So, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna stitch here. That's if you made one. Right? So, yeah. Because if you're making this and you have balls and the penis, it's gonna get snagged. So, you probably want to do this. Alright, guys. I attempted to fix it. Now we have a zipper extension behind here so your and your hair does not get snagged. Cut off everything you need to cut off. And I think some people, like when this is closed, some people like do a little tap with this on hair. Uh, do I feel like doing it? Do I? I can't find any needle that's threaded, which is surprising. Oh, should I do it? Oh, let's see. So now I'm just tacking this part onto this. Just real quick, couple stitches. There. Boom. And I messed it up again. Okay, whatever. If this thing is gonna be the death of me. Anyways, so let's get onto it. Okay, onto the back now. So we have our back pattern and we have our back yoke. So I don't know how we're gonna do it. Okay, I hope this is right. So we're gonna stitch here and we're gonna stitch this, both sides. And we're gonna stretch while we sew, if it's a stretchy fabric. And mine is 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. So both of them are sewn. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna overlock the edges of mine. I'm gonna overlock them um, just because I can. And then I am going to get this part, the bottom part, and I'm going to press it, then I'm going to press it and do two double stitches going here. Okay now, so we're going to put the pants facing each other like this, you know the deal, just attached. You're gonna pin here. Y'all need to see my hair legs, but whatever. You're gonna pin above that. And you're gonna pin directly below it. And this pin is shoddy. Now, at this point, if you feel that you are a boss and you did the pattern correctly, then you can double stitch it. I don't feel like I'm a boss, but I'm going to double stitch it anyways. Pray for me. Pray for me. Okay, 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 okay. So, you fold it like this. You, oh lord, I can cry if it's off it. You. You don't have to pin it, but press it down so it's like this. Okay, so the back part is done. But the back part looks quite bland, doesn't it? Because your girl forgot to put on pockets. Oh my god. So, 
pocket tank. So I guess we like press. So press like that. Just fall in our seam allowance. So press this right and then we're going to do a double stitch at the top here and then you could do any of the whole like, art you want to do on yours. I don't know what I'm going to do on mine. Uh, uh, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Let me see. Get a plate. Get some random plate. And we are going to... I'm doing my one and a quarter down. Oops. I'm doing my um, one and a half away from this part here to the corner there. And then one and a quarter here. Okay, so now that is done, we are going to do an edge stitch here, back stitch both ends as we do this, and then we're going to do another stitch going in here, back stitch that as well. Alrighty. So now we're going to get the front of the pants and we are going to the back of the pants over there. So we're going to stitch the inner part here. And then we're going to stitch the side seams going out. At this point, you try on your pants, and if you need to make any adjustments. So this is it stitched. Um, I'm going to turn it inside out now. And this is a side by the, by the hips. Because when you put on your pants and it's too tight for you, um, it's going to pull a little bit. So you want to reinforce that side seam on both sides. So I'm going to do mine probably to like the bottom of my, um, my pocket here. And pretty much what I'm going to do is, let me show you. 
So this is it here, all right? I'm gonna fold it. So the seam, the fold is like going towards the back. So I'm just folding it on the inside, so the inside, the fold is going that way. So you shouldn't have any fabric on the, this side. And I don't have any pins to show you all what to do. Okay, so like here, so you see this. We're gonna turn, move this over here. And then the fold is gonna come like this. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna just give it a top stitch, going to probably about here. So let me see. So about seven, seven, I'm gonna go on eight inches. I'm gonna top stitch this on both sides. Okay, so that's done. I did my way too far down, but you can stop about seven inches or eight inches down. Um, time for the waistband. All right, so this is our waistband. And your waistband should go from here, which is the flat extension, or wherever you had it. So if you had it in here, then wherever your thing stops here. So there, and goes all around and stops here. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna do three eighths here. I'm gonna stitch all around the top. And then I'm gonna do another three eighths here at the end. Okay guys, so this is our waistband. We did the side seams, well not the side seams, we did both ends and then we stitched along the top. So now we're gonna cut the corners as I'm doing right now. And we're gonna put our finger here. My fingers are blue from the dye of the um of the jeans. And then we're gonna just like poke it out. And if you're really careful, you can get a seam ripper and use the, the end that doesn't have the sharp edge and just like bring it out so that it's like a proper corner. Pull it on the zipper and we are going to right where you see this right, right where the seam is you're gonna put the seam right along that edge there and we are going to pin Okay, so this is why I did the um the waist afterwards. I didn't show you how to measure or anything. Um, because at this point I had actually measured from the fly thingy all the way around to the waist, and then I cut the the waist measurement from that. Because you know you have to make adjustments, and if you're if you made the the waist too short, then you have to cut it over all over again. You get me? So yeah. All right. So this is how it looks. This side is only being pinned to there. This is the inside of your waistband. See? So we're now gonna get this and we're gonna stitch it all the way around and then we'll be back. Alrighty, so this is it stitched. And your fly at the back, your fly inside the zipper should have been caught up in it. So this is how it looks now. So you see we only did one side and then we have this other side to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to now flip the waistband so you can see it like this, right? We're going to get these edges here. And we're gonna just like tuck it under. Literally just tuck it under. And covering the stitch we just did, just like fold it on the wrong side. Also, we're gonna make sure that you can't see this seam at the top so we're just gonna like 
scoot it towards the inside a little bit more. Get me? So when you scoot, then you fold over and cover that stitch that we just made and pin that. And I honestly don't know if you in, um, you put interfacing in the waistband of jeans. So if that's something you all know how to do or that's something that you're supposed to do, let me know. Because of course, I'm not going to tear open my jeans to check it out. Everything I'm doing is from the surface. Just make sure you're seeing a little bit. Right? So make sure you're seeing a little bit of the seam on the inside. So this is it pinned all around in the middle, in the front, sorry. So what we're gonna do is now <laughs> turn over and make sure we catch the fold like here. So make sure we are catching the fold of what we just did there. So now we're just transferring the pins from the back to the front. So you see, you should be catching it like that. Now close your zipper before you do anything, and everything should line up. See that? This looks a little big here. This looks like it may overlap a little bit when we do it. So. So using the same color thread, so use like you can use the same color thread as your actual um, fabric. I'm gonna use black because that's what I have, and we're gonna sew right down in this area. It's called stitch in the ditch. So you're gonna sew right down. You're gonna like, pull it like this, and you're gonna stitch right down in that corner. And when you do that, you're gonna be picking up the folds from the underneath. Okay. Okay. So that's done. And um, so you can't see the stitching from it here. And this is how it looks on the inside. It should be folded and it should have been caught. See? Okay. So now what we're going to do is. We're gonna top stitch this all the way around. All the way around with our contrasting thread. And we're gonna top stitch all the way around. Okay, so this is it done. Um, I don't know what we're doing yet. I'm looking. Okay, at this point, we're gonna get our jeans buttons. I got this from Amazon. I'm gonna put the link down below. And you're pretty much just going to follow all of the rules. I actually tried on my pants and decided where I wanted the button to be, which is around that area yeah <laughs> and don't look at my buttonhole it came out a little funky but you're not gonna see it because the button's gonna be covering it so yeah I was gonna add belt tabs but I'm really tired right now guys and I probably just do that for another chance so I'm okay